Dwayne Johnson and Kevin Hart star in their 700th film together, DC League of Super Pets, and it might actually be their best movie yet. Which isn't really high praise, but let's talk about this film. I'm not gonna sprinkle this Sunday. When I saw the trailer for Super Pets, I thought, all right, this is a crappy movie for like six year olds. Did nothing for me. And this is coming from a person who enjoys the Minion films. The bar is not set high. My personal kryptonite when it comes to movie criticism is animated colorful kids films. I give them a pass often. I, uh, I put the bar a lot lower when it comes to reviewing these. As long as the movie keeps a good pace, is entertaining and easy on the eyes, I'll go easy on the review. Like I said, Dwayne Johnson and Kevin Hart are in this. You already kind of know what you're gonna get from these two. Dwayne Johnson once again plays himself in dog form. Oh, look out, Skibbles, my cute cat that's off camera that you can't see and probably isn't real. Don't knock my stuff over. Oh, cute, she's reaching up towards my computer and hitting that subscribe button on Adam Does Movies. You should do the same. Just go ahead and paw that subscribe button while you're here. Thanks, Skibbles. <laughs> anyway, I opened up by saying this movie didn't look very appealing to me. I was dead wrong. I actually had a very pleasant time watching this one, and I don't think you should sleep on it. Is it worth going out to the movies to see? Eh, if you got kids and you're wanting to kill an hour 45, absolutely. Um, if you're by yourself and just have nothing better to do, you could do far worse than seeing Super Pets. The target demo is kind of all ages, all walks of life. There are a lot of adult jokes in this. There's even swear words that get bleeped by one of the characters I was not expecting, but laughed every time I heard it. I would say the humor is kind of leaning more towards Teen Titans Go, which I know is going to be a turnoff for some people. It doesn't go near that extreme though. It's just, it reminds me of that kind of humor once in a while. I myself brought my 10 year old and 13 year old and they had a great time and neither of them really had any interest in watching this. In fact, it was like a last minute Hail Mary when I was out the door and my daughter's like, okay, I will go. She just likes going to the movies, even if it's something she has no interest in and she's happy she went. I mean, for all you know, my kids are made up as well, like the cat. What is real, even, on YouTube? I mean, everything's just kind of a show, right? Subscribe for fake children. Even though Johnson and Hart are heavily marketed in the trailers, they're the least interesting characters in the film for me. I was far more entertained by all the side characters in their shtick. We have a couple SNL actresses who are perfect for this, especially Kate McKinnon as the villain, who's a guinea pig. Plus you got John Krasinski as Superman, Keanu Reeves as Batman. I mean, how do you go wrong with these two? Now, they don't have a ton of time in the film, but honestly, it's a lot more than I assumed. From the trailers and just from my own hunch, I thought maybe we were gonna get like a minute from Superman and Batman to open it up and be like, here's the protagonist of this, there are a couple dogs, and then there's other cutesy animals, and we're gone. No, they, I mean, they have a decent amount of screen time. The focus is obviously on the pets, but um, I was pleasantly surprised by how much we have of these other DC characters. And most of these characters are handled so well, I was kind of watching the film thinking the whole time, man, this is fine and these animals are cute and whatnot, but God, I would love to see an hour and a half, two hour epic movie with the animated superheroes and not their pets. That would be awesome. But as for this movie, the plot is a lot more grand than it has any right to be. This movie's a lot better than it has any right to be. It is an hour 45. They absolutely could have shaved that down to an hour and a half and you would have had a really tight, great running film. There are multiple moments where it does overstay its welcome, where some of the characters are bouncing lines off each other and I'm just kind of like, uh, all right, I'm, I'm ready to move on from this. It's starting to lose its, its speed towards the middle. There's a couple of lulls, but the final act is damn good. And the opening is really great too. It really does come together. It sets up everything nicely and then knocks them down by the end. As far as animation goes, this is not on the bottom tier, but it's definitely not Pixar level. It's somewhere in the middle. It's not bad on the eyes by any means, but it could, it could definitely be better. It does have a style to it that's fitting, but there could be a little bit more detail and a little more creativity when it comes to these background environments, which oftentimes are a bit stale. And the same can definitely be said for the music. You have your standard Taylor Swift songs thrown in and a lot of generic backgrounds. Obviously, you do get some of the classic hits coming out from Superman and Batman, but uh, for the most part, it's just kind of harmless background noise, nothing major. Really, it comes down to the, the great dialogue and some of the terrific voice acting, especially by the, the side characters. I thought they really elevated the material here. 
And this is definitely one that's worth watching. If you have some time and you like animated kids movies or family movies, this will do it for you. And like I said, there's some good adult humor in there. I mean, I don't think kids know what a prenup is, uh, but they threw the joke in just for you. All right, I gave you my thoughts. Now it's your turn. Leave a comment below letting me know if you saw this film and what you thought, or if you're excited to go see it now. It's called DC League of Super Pets, I believe. It's, it's a bad title, but it doesn't matter. You're getting animals, you're getting cutesy stuff, there's some great action, and it's over before you know it. And so is this review. So once again, subscribe if you haven't. My cat, Skibbles, or whatever I called it earlier, really wants you to. Really, really pawn at that sub button, and uh, go ahead and like it as well, because it was fine, right? We had a good time here. And hopefully I'll see you around. Take care. <laughs> There's a lot of animated comedies that I would consider mid, as the kids say. I'm in touch, I get it. This isn't one of them, this elevates, this is better. Movies like Sing, Trolls, A Pet's Life, which also has Kevin Hart in it, didn't deserve sequels. They got them, but they didn't deserve them. This, however, absolutely does, and I can't wait to see some more of these guys in action. I also can't wait for you to join me on Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies and say, Adam, I love this show. You're doing a great job. Here's one buck a month or here's 20 bucks a year or whatever you want to do. It'd be, it'd be great to see that support coming back my way for this amazing free show on YouTube. I'd appreciate it.